So we were thinking it might be cool if each of us talked about our personal and most anticipated games of this year. Okay, that's fine, I'm down. Okay, Adrian, so. you're up. And knowing you, you've probably got some kind of interesting indie up your sleeve. Yeah, I mean, I love my indie games, and for 2020, nothing's changed. And my most anticipated game is Sable. I have not seen a game overwhelm my senses like this in a very, very long time. I'm so happy right now. Prophecies being fulfilled. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Hmm. Goliath Beetle. Maybe, I guess. I don't know their version of it. What? It's me, Sable. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Zordon! Yeah, Reem, because I drew it. So, wait, is this me? Camera is extremely way too slow. Okay, okay, from 50 to 100 is obnoxious. So let's just. Better, I like that. Oh my God. I've been talking about this game for two, actually almost three years non-stop and it already surpasses my expectations it is so beautiful oh my god i love the frame rate of her animation it's like it's missing one frame rate every two frame rates oh the little floaties in the air Exactly, Tech Noir. Exactly. You land. She land. <gasps> Her little climbing animation. Her little five frames of animation for climbing. I love you. Is there a photo mode? Maybe not in this build. The final game has to have a photo mode or I'll call the police. Nah, fuck the police. I'll call someone. I'll call Sasha Gray. Who had a fantastic stream the other night. Thank you, Devante, for pointing that out. Her fart stream. It's not what it sounds like. She, she legit did a stream that I would do. Not like kinda, she legit did the exact, that kind of, same kind of stream that I would do. It was gorgeous. Called Ghostbusters? Wowie wow wow! Welcome back Super Argo Plus 7 month. Is it timed? Nope. Welcome back B -B Baka. Keep an eye on your stamina. Look at the lighting. I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna, you know what's gonna happen if I keep playing this game. 
Mm, I'm thin enough. So I can't jump once I'm in a falling animation. Griffin, no. Choose my own adventure. Hey, a ladder. Which means the entrance is blocked. Yep. Oh, she climbed. <laughs> exactly, that noir. You like all those sounds? Yeah. It isn't the full release yet, Nanako. It's the, uh, the demo for the game, which you can download right now until Tuesday. The game itself comes out September 19th? I crouch. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the draw distance, man. Wonder. Ah, no! Jump's a little floaty. X, this has got that Luigi jump from Mario 2. I can't make that jump. Way to Adrian proof the game. Is there fall damage? Ooh. I think she starts a flailing arm animation after a certain amount of uh, distance traveled from a drop. There it was. Not gonna try it out. Okay. Pretty. Uh, I don't know what other games. The company is called Shedworks. Publisher is Raw Fury. Raw Fury has been putting in work. Our good friend Christy Anderson used to work for Raw Fury. Raw Fury just released uh, um, Ham Pound Backbone, the raccoon detective game that Cracky's been playing. They published that. The developer was Shedworks, but I'm not familiar with Shedworks' other stuff. Love your display. Got to say hello to the giant face. I have a thing about giant faces, Anago. Respect my privacy. <laughs> what is that? Xbox? I can feel Jody smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? And yet, what an answer. That's always the best answer. And yet, I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it, but I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. 
I've told you how much I loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws in the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. It is book-like. Yes, the font in the UI is like having a Kindle on my screen. <laughs> Your daughter reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I changed my mind. I'm staying. Well, it was a worthy effort. I tell Jolly that I appreciate the lesson, but that her story has made me nostalgic, and now I would very much like to remain here, in the safety of our home. She laughs. Come on, you're running late. I concede with a sigh, just loud enough for her to hear. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? I think I might suspect what Jadi's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'll be back soon. Sable, don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose well and quickly so that I don't go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early. Come home early. Eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. My favorite game mechanic. When they tell you to go speak to someone and the gamer points in the direction of where they are. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I use in my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Thank you. Go on, go on, it's nearly time. Cool. Yeah, Reem? It might be an influence, honestly. I love this UI. Oh my god. The compass acts as a short compass around your person. With your objectives right there. To reduce the amount of overlay that you have on a mini map or otherwise. With a time cycle in the bottom left. Ugh. Ugh. And then it re-reminds you of what your objective is. Otherwise, the UI stays like this. That's SMRT. Make s'mores. You got s'mores money? Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages at zero. Have a good day. Oh no, it's like me in real life. Checking my DMs on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter and Tinder and Bumble. But not Facebook, because I'm not that desperate. Not that down bad. What up, homie? What is that? Look at the little lantern. Oh my god. Did you see him showing out? Or them showing out? Are you black? You're dark skin. That's definitely some deep, dense hair. You're not white. We're both not white. We're all not white. You know what I'm saying? We in there. Your leg. Your outfit. I love this game already. Look at the wind outside. Oh my god. This game is immaculate. <laughs> Shut your butt, coconut. Okay. As I approached Halal, they gave an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and digger. On a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. 
Sable, take this. Halal's hands, Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on a cloth. I didn't bring anything for you. Halal gives a tinkling laugh. Oh, Sable, you can make up for it when you return someday. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Electricity? Connectedness. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite close. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They stuck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. They haven't attached a masculine or feminine pronoun to this person. They've been they have done this and their hands, everything like that. Halal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trick to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jotty's words now and tell Halal I'll go and see Driss. See, Driss is directly called he. But Halal has been they and there the entire time. You appreciate that? That's pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh, planks. I dedicate these planks to Brit. There's Driss's station. This is just gorgeous. Oh my God. Where's my photo mode? This is bollocks. It's not fair. It's too beautiful to not take a picture of. God. The music reminds me of how I felt when I first played Red Dead Redemption. You know, in terms of how well it fits the atmosphere and things like that. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some cupola up in it. What's happening down here? A little shop. I don't know what it does, but it looks like something from Mega Man. Mega Man Zero, the ZX collection. One of those rooms. I'm sure it comes into play later on. The game very much did tell me directly, do this and do that. And I'm like, oh, what about this? Go do this and go do that. But what about them? Oh my god, go do this and go do that. But... Who are you, tiny person? Look how small. Planking? I remember that, unfortunately. I'm just now getting into planking. Anago, you're the worst, dude. <laughs> I asked why there's such an interest in beetles in the first place, only to regret the next two minutes. At least she's... <laughs> only to regret the next two minutes. At least she's enthusiastic about something. <laughs> I love the way the story is being told from an introspective perspective, telling a story to ourselves while interacting with others and forfeiting their dialogue unless deemed absolutely necessary to my own thoughts. It's wonderful. Hey, yo, you got a glider for me? What are you working on? Look at your MC Hammer pants. 
I love them. I want a pair. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What will his name be, I wonder? How fast will I go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. The Sable, I... Hello! I was told you have something special for me? I tell Driss that I was told he has something for me. But did, didn't we already establish that? Something special? I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I make a leading gesture, slowly, trying to be perfectly cool and confidential, but I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I asked Driss if he might sort of possibly, maybe, have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he just had. Your bike! Yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That I was meant to, that I prepared for you because today is your... Did you forget? In abject horror, I gently ask if he may have forgotten. What? What? I <laughs> would never. It's obviously I have your bike, by which I mean I arranged it for you in a, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. It's not here. Not exactly. But that's because this is part of your gliding. You see, Sable, before one can, you know, own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it, and I find I've never heard of that part of the gliding. But Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if ever I've seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. Now, ride the bike through the ring and back. Here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off, forehead. When you're riding it, your hero bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Don't lose your bike. Sick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look at this dirt heat. It's like a Borderlands bike. Now this is pod racing? Damn it, I was going to save that for later. No, I can't. Oh my god. Look at my pollution. It looks so beautiful. The lighting is so gorgeous. Robert. I did it, you guys. I should speak to Driss. He'll be so proud of me. Bonk. Gliding. Forget I said it. So cool. No, because I would have said it right now, and it's too late because you already said it. This is the time I would have said it. <laughs> hey, yo. I returned to Driss, who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you would notice if you're on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been by Hillal? Am I not getting a bike? <laughs> well, you're getting used to this sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help you out with more of that um, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise, only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help 
and his bike, and I depart for Halal. This dude is the worst. This. This dinky thing. I feel like Mando. When he had to ride that Garbo heap. Kim trails, you know what it is. It all means crescent in Arabic. Ooh. So not grandma? Oh. Oh. Oh, Jody. Ooh. -woo. What a hunk of junk. Can I pet the goat? Mountain creature. Can I pet you? Okay. Good talk. I'll pet you next time. What are you doing at two frames of animation? Umar is a man of few words and he's nothing if not consistent. That was Super Onigo right there. I know where to go. I'm just exploring right now. I like to move it, move it. Petting canceled? I know, just like real life. No petting, no heavy petting. Just observing. What up? Jody greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's so strange getting called that. That's a big glider to you. I tell Jody I'm actually a big glider. She laughs. You're right. You are. Sable, noted adult and big glider. I'll keep it in mind. That's right. I'm I'm big glider. Put some respect in my name. Oh. I pressed the down button and that happened. Kitty cat song. It's the kitty kitty cat song. Meow meow. Ooh, what a cool icon. Brrrm. Head over to the simple sable. I promise we're worth the trip. Right. Where you do you just climb everything you see, Sable? <laughs> what the hell? Yo, I didn't know you could do that. Just climb whatever you sat the street. Beep bop boop. Same though? Not same. Oh, who are you? What are you doing? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. What are you looking at? Preposition. Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Alaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. Do you want me to get her back? Zeki shakes her head. No, she's fine. I'll get it. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. We have a short chat about nothing much in particular. I say goodbye to Zeki. Man. How about that? Instead of needless and pointless exposition, you just say we have a talk and conversation about nothing in particular and move on. Oh, there she is. Zeki means smart uwu. Then it is Middle Eastern, uh, Middle Eastern inspired uh, uwu, I guess, since Kaiser's not here. Otherwise, you know, we wouldn't allow that. Oh, I can't jump up higher when I climb. I can't do Zelda rules. I can't jump up to advance my uh, climb. S-U-X-X-X-X-X.
No, capital U's and UU aren't allowed. It's only all lowercase UU that's allowed. That's my rule. You and your capital UU's. Or that Twafo, that's allowed because she's wonderful. Hope she thinks I'm wonderful. I doubt it. Did you see your little claw slide? Nice, just made it. Call, call. I don't think I can make that climb. Oh, that's too high. F word. I get an upgrade later on that allows me to do that. She's so tired, poor baby. Oh. <laughs> There's Anago still putting in work. Smart. It's a policy on Owos, lowercase only. So much for freedom of speech. Sorry, you had to be here. What? What? Tell you what, let's not go that way. Let's just let's just take the path as intended. Who made that noise? Oh, bird! I love you, Pidgeotto. I kind of want to throw this for no reason, other than the fact that it's all the way up here. That's a bad first instinct. You know what I say to freedom of speech? Not today. <laughs> we have a nice chat together. <laughs> what? I climbed all the way up that spiraling staircase. <laughs> <laughs> it just gets me. We have a nice chat together. Honestly, I'm not even mad. I like that. No unnecessary exposition. Just, yeah, this dude's up here. This person, they're up here, and we have a nice chat. And they're brown like me, so we're just big chilling. Watch this, though. What? Can I? What's Huh. I did not expect <laughs> what just happened to happen. So hell of all damage not existing. It looks like Ray finding random junkies to take a pocket knife. Yes. Opus Mario goes light enough to take a step back and work to avoid anxiety and burnout. I mean, is the real Spawner go smart enough to do that? Nice. Neat. This artwork is absolutely gorgeous. I'm enamored right now by everything that my little kitty cat eyes are witnessing. God. Can't wait until Rockstar re releases Red Dead Redemption with the same art style. It's going to be, as the kids say, lit. I have to go inside. Just making sure. <gasps> Is that a an aerial device just kind of chilling in the air? You know what that tells me? 
it's Chekhov's gun, right? That isn't just in the air for no reason. That means sooner or later you find a way to get to that. I don't know how, but it, it's there. I go, friend on Nintendo, no. I'm glad you're here with your friends. We are your friends, right? Cool. I just understood what the number on the bottom bottom left or the bottom right. Bottom left down there? Oh yeah, it's a day cycle. Time of day. It's noon. <laughs> Great music. Really helps me coo my last po listening to this. It's gorgeous. What? You know that song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough? What well, if that's not true? What well, if there actually is a mountain high enough? And it's this one. There is a mountain high enough. Oof. Close. I wonder how many people got stuck on that part. I say it in jest, but I'm actually kind of serious. Kind of glad I'm watching you play this because I know now is that as playing this game with the glitch, my frame rate locked to 30. Oh no, Devonta, your frame rate. Colon D, capital D colon. <gasps> what are you, Slugcat? It's a pool noodle. It's toothpaste. It's axolotl toothpaste. Chum egg. Wait, isn't chum? Perfectly round and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to put these. Wait. Did it? What? What happened to... I'm glad I didn't have this in my room when I was growing up. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Man turned into a pedestal. <laughs> no. Sometimes you do that. Sometimes you just had enough of life. You know, I wish I could do that in real life. I wish when I was just sick of my surroundings and my people, I could just turn into a pedestal and stop interacting with people. You know what I mean? Kind of like Mario 3 in the, in the Tanuki suit. You know what I mean? Can we ride it with permission, of course? Not anymore. I think I just had to put it in full screen. Yeah, I'm running full screen windowed right now. So. Ooh. What? That was so cute. That was so cool. A little collapse and everything. Why? Oh, go back down, right. Wish I had some binoculars to get a good look of my surroundings. You never did learn to mind your surroundings, Bruce. I will kill you, but I don't have to save you either. Sorry, just my inner Batman sometimes comes out. I apologize. It's Batman things. Can I Adrian this game? This game encouraging me to be me? Wowie wow wow.
Hey, I got 20. <laughs> okay. Mother. F wow. All because I asked for some binoculars. No binoculars allowed. I guess this is our life now. Maybe if we find another chest that has money in it and we open it up and then this will go away. Also, I think it's still counting the amount of money that we have. Yeah, it is. Look down the bottom right hand corner. It hasn't finished counting the money. So I gained 20. So we're on 28 right now. So if we can just hold out hope until we reach 40, we should be okay. Okay, gang, stream, we're on 33, we're almost there, Poggies, I guess. Did it stop counting during the cutscene? Okay, thank God. At least we now know what it sounds like to be Mismo every day. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Am I afraid? Yes and no. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I'm in her sight. Thirty-seven, just three more to go. We're almost there. It kind of sounds like the last battle in Karate Kid 3. Ah, 40 bucks. Never sounded so good. You know what it is, Anago. Ding, 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 ding. What? <laughs> At last. By the way, I lied. I have a second large cookie. I deserve it. Remind me to open no more boxes. No more currency allowed. We have one little bite. I'm sorry, I don't have any cookie left, Reem. Sorry. I don't have any left. I can't share. Sorry. I can glide. <gasps> I'm Doctor Strange. I'm Doc Strange in the range like, whoa. Yo. I love it. I'm like Magneto. Magnetic force field. Look at your boy glide. Poor person.
Look at me go. I got, I got, I got, got, got gliding in my DNA. I guess this is what the game intended originally. <laughs> to do this. I am mag fucking needle right now. Good, Anago. If you didn't already, you should have. Sleep well, Skittles. Thanks for hanging out. Mac Canito. I did it. I completed my temple trial. I'm unstoppable now. Yo, look at look at me glide. I'm gonna glide right over to my shipmobile. <laughs> I can re-glide. Oh my god. Nice. It is very cool, actually. Yeah, Anago, I actually uh, have a partnership with Disney Plus. So you get to see this game once a week. Same time every week. But then make sure to talk about it on Twitter so it's trending. So I can get my Disney bucks. Please and thank you. I'm leaving it next to you because I trust you. Let's not take my stuff. Yep. You're right. Only limited by the height you start with. It looks so beautiful, too. The way the lighting interacts with it and the way it looks when it breaks or dissipates, I guess. Yo, Britt, your next, your next cosplay should be of this. I don't know how you're going to make a bubble up here and reappear, but that's your challenge, not mine. Good luck. Ta-da! When I run, return to Halal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Strange. I'm a little queasy. I tell her law that there is something a bit disorienting about it, and that I haven't quite understood how best to use it yet. I don't want to worry about that. There's plenty of time before long. You're going to be floating off cliff skies with impunity. Is that good? Trust me, you're going to love it. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling, just floating on the breeze. But I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might not have ever come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. I'll heave myself into chasms for you. I tell Halal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf and they giggle. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Halal laughs even if there's a bit of regret in it. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean as much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that. But decide that there is already too much loss in my mind to consider it much further. Bars. I'm saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. I'm gonna love it out there, Sable. Even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and for their help and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to Halal. Before I go, Halal gestures towards the tower. It seems Caesar wishes to see me before I leave the clan. 
All right, Caesar. I bet Caesar can hear me coming with my big heavy feet. Pat, pat, pat uponing all over the place. Duck dancing. Good night, Tech Noir. <laughs> Sleep well. D don't, don't climb. You got nothing to prove. Okay. <laughs> what up? Cizo, it's not Clanner to the Abexi, but I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Machinists, I'm told, or machinists, are given their posts and by their training and their code must go to where they are needed. But Cizo has been among us so long that it's easy to forget it's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among the other clans that the Ibexi are quite insular, or that our designation of Ibexi versus Outclanners suggests some nervous othering of those who are unlike us. But in practice, such things are more of a result of our nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But all are welcome to join. I'm always pleased that Cizo did. Sable, how do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Me too. Mass Effect. They're a volus. Can't fool me. Hi, Naja. My daughter has the heaviest football. We call her floppy feet. <laughs> Thanks for letting me hang out. Anago, I don't let... Okay. Sleep well, dude. Hope you feel better. Heart you. I'm a bit worried. Am I really getting the bike? Cecil has a throaty quality to her voice, and it rumbles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I'm always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jotty told me how excited you were. Cezo sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have... I knew it. What? I hadn't meant to say that out loud, so I told her I was just clearing my throat. I don't begrudge you as his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be just as scattered. And besides, this will be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bark parts for yourself. Just tried to raid. Did it work? Nope. Sorry. I'll find out why. Sorry. No apology necessary. Good effort. Technically, shouldn't Dritz do it? Caesar taps the cheek of her mask, amused. And let him have the privilege of bonding with your bike before it's composed? No, 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 no. This is reserved for you. Here, take this. Caesar hands me something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. It should be useful in finding the old parts. I ask Caesar where I might start looking. Our bikes were reborn in the ruined ships and fragments spread apart. A good start would be the ship down there near the camp. You'll find another up on the Great Rock, near the other side of the canyon. That rock does look great. And another behind the dam on the old hill. Old dam on the hill. Use your navigator and mark that down if you need. You need to gather a control panel, a power supply, and a calibrator. This is quite a lot of work. I tell Caesar this sounds like a great amount of work to do, especially when I'll need my energy for the gliding. There are tasks that grant energy and tasks that take it. This is the former. All right, that's actually good. I'll tell Caesar I'll see you soon and head off in search of the components. Together we will create something new out of the old. About something borrowed. Oh, look at this. Wowie, wow, wow. This is kind of neato completo. This is very friendo Nintendo. 
at the ending of the movie. Place marker. Did I place it? Oh, neat. 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 I can't see. Okay, I marked the old dam. Oh, actually, I can get a better view up here. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Top of the world. Throat of the world. Parthenix. Ooh, what's over there? That's where I came from. Look at this. So gorgeous. So just freaking gorgeous. So F-bombing gorgeous. Sorry for the F-bomb, but it is that gorgeous. I regret nothing. The only regret is that I didn't say it sooner. I'm guessing that's the old tower rock right there. I hope it is. Unless they mean all the way over here. That seems really far away. Just in case, I'll mark it. Neat. Okay, see those tasks, do all that. Okay. And then the ship graveyard, which was down... I forget. Down there. Down there? Down there. Is it a jackal? I'll come back to it. Let me do this first. Look at me go. What up, y'all? Hello. Look what it is. Hilaria. The balloon was more fun than the person in it. <laughs> okay, Hilaria. I read incredibly well, I must say. Thank you. Thank you. It's part of my my degree, career focus, and all that stuff. I had a lot of books growing up, too. I approached the cartographer. Ah, greetings, child. Saw you looking longingly at my great balloon. Quite a piece of work, didn't she? Longingly? I clarified that I was looking curiously and that balloons aren't exactly my ideal vessel. The newcomer shrugs. Fair enough. I suppose when you can ensconce yourself in the peaceful little bubble and float down from the sky, the balloon loses some of its charm. But I'll accept your curiosity. I give the balloon an approving nod so that he doesn't feel too bad. <laughs> well, good to meet you. And, oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose if you've come all this way to see me, it's probably a map you're after, eh, Sable? Do I need a map? I asked the cartographer if I need one. Do stag beetles like figs? I have no idea, but contextually I assume the answer is yes. If you're leaving when you're gliding, Sable, you'll definitely need the map of the Ewer at least. I'll sell you one for only 50 cuts. To my ears is a fair price for a map, but too expensive for a pre-gliding glider with empty pockets. I'll tell Jordan I'll be back. I'll need to ask Jotty for some money. Farewell, child. Damn, I'm broke. I only have 40 bucks. Nodge, I'm surprised your ears didn't perk up. They said that you were. You play Astro. Feels bait, man. Oh no, you have to find the chest. Yeah. <laughs> you know what that means. Sorry, Reem. Let's just speak to Jotty to get some cuts. I tell Jotty that the cartographer wants 50 cuts for a map of the Ewer. I try to hedge the way I speak about this, since I'm not entirely sure whether that's too much, not enough, or precisely his value. She tells me not to worry. Here's some money to get you going in your journey. <gasps> Just like Ine-san and Shinmu. Use it mostly wisely. And then a little unwisely when the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. That's not true. Let it rule your life. I thank Jotty offensively and head out of my way. How much money did you give me, Grandmama? Damn. A hundred bucks? I'm never opening another chest in my life. I'm just going to go to gram Grandma for money. <laughs> Yo, Grandma Ma, you got any money? 
<laughs> I had to buy a new glider. Well, don't be ruled by money, but here's a thousand cuts. Thank you. Love you. And here's some more of the originals before you go. Oh, I don't have the pocket space for those, but I okay, I'll take a few. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. What up? Greetings, child. I'll buy that map. Perfect. Let's trade then. The map that you were sold by members of the Photography Guild. I'll take it. One map, please. I thank Jordan for the Ewer map and all his vast possibilities. Something about this makes it feel more real. Good luck on your gliding sable. I still remember mine. I asked how it was. Short. I knew since I was a boy that cartography was for me, but I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of, keep an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there, and they'll have more maps to sell you. From Hakoa to the Sodak West. I thank Jordan for the tip and say goodbye. Farewell, child. That explains the other one that I saw in the air floating, remember? Other map salespeople. Nice. 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 Nice is on fire. I remember. No, oh, I remember. By the way, just to, just to let you know, so there's no confusion, LaShoy, you can't have any of my money. It's my money. Hashtag no offense. Uh, let's go to the big dam first, I guess. This is so far away. I wonder if there's fast travel. The first. Okay. I guess I'm not allowed to go up there yet. I, took the, I, I get the hint. I'll just be on my way, I guess. <laughs> Mac fucking Nito. Wom. Where were you, Charles? Mutant brothers and sisters. Slaughtered. Experimented on. Oh, my bike! Jesus, what a waste of a glide. Welp. Man, the first thing he said was, don't forget your bike. And what did I do? Forget my bike. <sighs> that was fun. Kitty cat face floating. Yeah, I guess kitty cat face. Climbing has some issues to work out. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the more difficult aspects to probably get to work in gaming. I speak as a non-developer, of course. But having to imagine that every single ridge in your game, you have to tell the game to decide whether or not the person is allowed to climb it or not, right? At what angle they can approach it and what angle can they climb and then make sure there's no interference and make sure testers are there so they can't go out of bounds or cheat with the way they climb. So I really hope the developers can fine tune this in a manner that doesn't cost them a fortune to do so. You know what I mean? Because they're worth it too. Uh oh, Reem, look who it is. Goodbye forever. Thank you. I'm sorry you're a pedestal now. Oh my god, there's streamers. You go up to it, admire, admire it, and the more you admire it and take something from it, the more you put it on a pedestal. It's an allegory. This game is so clever. Amazing. This game is so just next level, you know, so forehead. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Bye, Burbs. Love you. I see a pathway. I take the pathway. It's simple arithmetic. Where does pathway lead to? Don't know. Is it important? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's money. All right, everyone. Here we go. Ready? One. Two. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? What is that? Come here. Come here. What? Did it just give me the angry anime symbol and then go underground? Come here, you little shits. Yeah, I tried effect sand music. All for naught. You little shits. Stop running from me. Maybe they can hear my money in my pockets jingling. <laughs> it terrifies them. That's why they're running away. <laughs> they can hear them they can hear the money and they're like, ah What is, what is this dude doing? Or this person? Imagine I can't just go here for no reason, right? There has to be a reason I can go here. Well, I guess there doesn't have to be a reason I can go here, but in my mind of minds, there's a reason I can go here. My mind of mine and what's mine is mine. Hey! Video games, Adrian style. Y'all know what it is. Y'all not new here, you know what to expect. Look at your boy. I wanna sing. <gasps> it's by design! I'm not Adrianing the game. The game is Adrianing me. This is incredible. It encourages Adrianing. They hear you dragging your feet when you run. Clump, 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 clump. Hello, pedestal worm. Thanks for the chum. Maybe you have to crouch when you walk towards them. Oh, you know what? Great point. Good point, Reem. Welcome back, Cedars, man. I'm kidding. I actually forgot that I could crouch. Because they introduced the mechanic one time and never reintroduced it ever again. I completely forgot. I already played Breath of the Wild. The game's over. That's the one I want to get to over there. That hot air balloon. I wonder if I can climb that and then glide from there to... No, I can't read. Well, hmm. Can I go over there and then glide? Well, I shouldn't try. Well. I think I'd just miss it. Or I'd grab the rudder and then try to climb and miss it and then be sad forever. I'm having some very wild e cowdy thoughts right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, Vanessa. It's to borrow an old adage, it is what you might call all of that in a bag of chips is the best way that I can put it. So yes. Clearly, it is. I can go wherever I want. The world is my ocean. Music? This is like Outer Wilds music. Am I going to find one of those dudes playing banjo somewhere? 
Okay, don't forget to crouch down and collect the bugs. Music gone forever. I'm giving it a rating of bomb.com. Yes. Like that old 50 Cent lyric. I'm the ma I'm the napalm, the bomb, the don, the King Kong. Get rolled on, wrapped up and rained on. I'm so calm. Bring me along to Vietnam. I don't want to try to climb this because if I fail, then I'll fall all the way down there. I have to reclimb back in. With that being said. You used to call me. You used to call me. I got that thug in love. Ah, good point, Lashaw. I hadn't thought of that. <gasps> Get some money. I don't think I want money that badly. But I like that it's here. It means there's a lot of... It means they're willing to reward exploration. I've mentioned that before in a few different open world and sandbox games. They said it's nice when developers reward you for exploration. Like, oh... You didn't think we knew that someone like you might try to climb up here? Well, since you did climb up here, here's some money. Unlike Biomutant? Exactly. Exactly. Is there a cross to opening them? Yes, Spider, there is. About a 45 second to a minute and a half cost. <laughs> That's the cost. The question is, is are you willing to pay it? Okay, here's the thing. It's been 20 cuts so far, right? 20 cut and then 20 cut. What if because I climbed up here, the reward is 100 cut? Have you considered that? What if it's 100 cut? We won't be free for 10 minutes. I still like Biomutant Spider. I imagine it's a game I'll come back to like every month or so and touch into. It, I don't, how do I describe it? I like the combat, the design, the UI, the idea, some of the dialogue, the narrator. I don't like the sound effect. I don't like the combat reactions. The combat themselves are kind of cool. I don't like that there's no real reward or consequence for open world exploration. Uh, fast travel's dope. Uh, also that the world feels so abandon and i think the problem is it takes place in a post-apocalyptic world dystopian animalistic future and so the problem that i have is that if you look at that world as being open you can make the argument i say excuse to say well adrian the reason why this giant sandbox world it's open world is so abandoned is because it's dystopian it's post-apocalyptic so nothing's around but I don't think the game was designed with that intent. I think that's an excuse. I think it's just that there's not enough assets or enough time to fill it with things that give it quality. The same way you might find with a Breath of the Wild or a Rockstar game to fill the world with stuff, to give it purpose as you explore it. You know what I mean? Hey, Nellis. Nihilus. Ah, here we go. F word. I was trying to land on the side right there so I could use the uh, crevice as a means to go back up. The means of production, the means to climb. The means Gene Okerlund. That's annoying. Don't worry. We only have nine more to go. We're almost there. How many coins were in there? 80. Kidding, it was 20. 20 is the consistent number. Can I make it over there? Mm, that's too high. Can't make that climb. 
Sag. Why is my stamina so cheeks? It's okay. I'm gonna get them bugs. I'm gonna get them bugs. Using the ream tactic. Where are they, you little shits? Where are they? F word. How'd you see me? Shit. Oh, hey, man. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I wonder. Can I put this egg down and use it? Put, put egg out. Put, put egg out. Select egg. Put, put egg, put egg in butt. Put egg down somewhere. Utilize egg. Deposit one egg. No way. No way, part two. You know what? I don't even want one of you. You're whack. May you rotten shit. What if I isolate those frequencies and drop them in your equalizer? I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. This isn't, this isn't Stargate. <laughs> That's too much work. Mac fucking Nito. I could glide over here. Actually, I should ride my. <gasps> Look at me go! She slide. Maybe you need an item or tool for them or something. Why? Well, I, I have the egg. I thought maybe I could place egg down, and then I would say, "Here, egg." Although I didn't try to put them into something. I just. Now I'm curious if there's location. Oh my god, there were flower sprouts. I'm thinking, shit, this game is one of those games. It's doing it to me. It's adrening me. Is it worth going back inside for all that? Yes. Sorry, sorry. We'll have progression in this game one day. I promise. You shouldn't give me so many things I can do. S-U-X-X-X-X-X. S-U-X-X-X-X-X-X. At least the music's nice, right? <laughs> Never ending? Yeah, unlike Hitman, right? Which is ending. I feel like I can't put those up there because they're so far away. I'd have to climb and be in position to put them up there. Pat, pat, pat upon, pat upon, pat upon, pat, 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 pat. Pat 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 upon pat upon pat upon pat 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 upon pat 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 upon pat 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 upon pat 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 upon pat upon Hmm, so I can't just place the eggs down, I have to place them into something. That is rather unfortunate. Theory bested. I doubt you climb up there and then land on top and plant it that way. That's way too much work. Enjoy your work. Mm 
Enjoy your look. We do have three eggs so far. I don't know if that's a lot or too few to make a dent into anything that means anything. There's my glider. The sand cutter. Uh, uh. Sonic the Hedgehog. Too fast for the naked eye. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic, he can really move. Sonic, he's like an attitude. Sonic, he's the fastest thing. Oh my god, my pollution's going everywhere. I'm so sorry. Spark that right there. Thanks, dog. Windy. Mag freaking Nito. I want to climb uh, in the evening and the spring and the slime. Uh, I want to climb uh, to the top of here. Maybe grab a beer, get away from a glider, and maybe steer. I want to climb. Uh, I want to. Ooh. Control panel, gang. Where you at? I guess it's a good thing this is the old dam and not the currently active dam because I would have just ruined my entire village. <laughs> What's this button do? Oh no, it's opening the dam! <laughs> Thousands murdered. <laughs> Oops. Hi, AJ. Oh, this is a chest, but it's not... It's not a money chest. The money chest had the blue rings around them. So this shouldn't be money, right? Mother f I go where I want to go. Make sure I don't miss any secrets. Nah, this is all just part of the design. Still, though. <laughs> Shut up, Twapo. Nefarious down there. This should hinder my progression. Camera is kind of weird. Hey, someone was right about how you maneuver it and manipulate it. It's a little too loose. Oh man, that's the worst symbol in the world. That right there. Someone texts you, can we talk about something? And then you just see that pop up right beneath it. <laughs> what? Oh. I guarantee you Asan Kia did not finish that puzzle. Cause he's so dumb. But I did it. I solved the puzzle he couldn't. You all can clap for that. Shout outs to me. That way. I don't know what's that way. Probably nothing. Puzzle genius. Thanks, dog. Quite a dam. What's this button do? Control panel. I got it. It was just laying around in the old dam. 
Now the engineer is going to come back later on when there's a threat of a flood. Water turning up here and go, where did I put my control panel? I had a spare one. Meanwhile, camera cut to me gliding across the sands. Wee! <laughs> the valley floods. Credits. Some song by... Uh, what's his name? Damn. Too late. Joke's gone. The guy, Damien Rice? The guy who sang The Blower's Daughter? Blower's Daughter. Can't take my eyes off of you. Can't take my mind off of you. Can't take my eyes off of you. Can't take my eyes off of you. Hi, I'm Dave. Yes, video games. I'm gonna be up there and cheat. With some Marvin games and the Ben Trust. Hi, I'm Dave. If I go up there and there's nothing waiting for me, I'm gonna be so indifferent. Hmm. There's almost a Final Fantasy XIV story being told here. By having these broken arcs in place in an area that used to have a dam that was active. It makes me wonder if there's some kind of torrential flood that destroyed everything. This is all that's left. Just like the third Umbral Calamity. More Slut Cat! Am I trying to get her out of lurk? Nah, she's sleepy. She's sleepy. She's resting on her pile of money now after promotion. Although, <laughs> like the old story, I bet you if you put a copy of Final Fantasy XIV under her pile of money, she'll feel it. <laughs> she's that kind of princess. Am I going to make this? Hi, I'm Dave. Oh, no. This is kind of cute. My ultimate fear is that this was kind of hard to get to. So it's got to be 20, right? It's got to be 20. Oh, a mountainside made out of bacon. Sick. Looks like Jupiter, actually. Heart of the cards. You know what makes me nervous, honestly, the most? Is the bottom right-hand corner says plus 40. And I'm not sure if it's counted it yet. So, much like Twafo said, I'm afraid that at one moment it's just going to start going... <laughs> For 40 piece. And I'll be all. Uh, I know the show exactly. I'm stealing from the memorial looking thing. We can't instill our cultures into other cultures, Marine. We have no idea if that's a memorial at all. It could be one of those take a penny, leave a penny places like you see at the gas stations. I mean, that's, that's what it is. I just didn't leave a penny. I took 20 pennies. They're not candles, Reem. This is Sable. We don't know if those are candles or not. Stop pushing your narrative. SMH. <laughs> oh no. Hi, I'm Box. I don't want it. I already know what it is, and I don't want it. You know what's funny? In the back of my head, 
I'm scared that that's the one box that's not money. It's the sword of emancipation. I get to some boss and it's like, oh, you didn't get the sword of emancipation? That sucks, dude. You know where to find it? No. If you go past the dam, there's this one box across the grating. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Why didn't you get it? I thought it was money. And? You don't know what I went through. <laughs> I thought it was money. It wasn't. It's gonna get you for weeks. What? Freedom of speech? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's very high. I'm Dave. My uncle is video games. <laughs> he said that. All right. Is this? I marked it as this, but I think it's probably that. Plus, I don't think I can properly navigate to whatever this is. Actually, I'm fairly certain I can't, because if I glide from there to there, I won't reach the top of Bacon Mountain. My guess is probably this over here. Your money went up by 40? Nice. I guess your uncle's lurking in the chat. Shout out to Twaffle's uncle for fixing my game bug. Good looking out, Unky. I don't think I can make this climb either. Let's try it. My pet pet stamina. I'm going to be just a little bit outside. Ah, you rotten son of a... <laughs> oh? This really is like a nomadic journey into adulthood and what I'm able to accomplish on my own. And offered no hints, just the game telling you good luck. I hope you know how to explore, forehead. I needed that laugh. Reem basically just said, nothing so far that has been said has been funny. Damn. Twafo, you are now the ruler of jokes. 30 JPM. I don't like... Oh. Ha! <laughs> I almost Adrian myself. Good night, spider. Sleep well. Those birds sound like turkeys. Which I know are birds, but you get what I mean. I really want to climb that and see what's up there, but I don't want to fall back down to surface level. Which is gonna, this is so narrow that I feel, ooh, a box. I don't want that much money. What if it's a lot of money? It's not. What if it is? I'm already close to the objective. But it is, mm, don't stop thinking about the money. Hi, I'm Chest. That's all it is, Miles. I love you. Ooh, what do these do? They're the threads of the world interwoven into our own life. The journey. It's meant to reflect the journey we each take in life. Damn. 
cigarette. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so baked right now. I got it. Wasn't there a platform down there? Yeah, what is that platform? I want to know what that is. I want to know what that is. Hi, I'm baked. It's good. Can I? Cannot. Anything out here? Boop 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 boop. Hi, baked. I'm dead. Yeah, right. In what world? Imagine there's some cornball dad. You're baked. <laughs> I have some of that good sticky icky myself right here. Dad, not now. Don't worry, honey. It's that good kush. It's called Ghost Rider. Ooh, this box is neon. <gasps> A cache of 100 cuts made from metal harvested from crashed ships. They have holes punched through the middle where a rope can be slid through for ease and convenient transportation. 100 cuts. Yeah, see money. Now I can buy two maps. I'm going to find one of those map dudes and be like, oh, you want a map? Sorry, kid. 50 cuts. Now I'll be like, you know what? How many maps do you have in stock? Well, two. Well, three, but one's mine. I want two maps and your map. And then give him the money out of spite. And then take the one that was his and tear it up in front of him. Yeah. It's called a power play. It's a money thing. You wouldn't understand. Neither would I. Sag. Now you can sleep on a pile of money. Feels good. Sounds like toxic masculinity. Asterisk flexes. Close asterisk. Check it, 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 check Okay, thank you. The closed caption heard your chugga chuggas as suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. Damn, <laughs> bonk. I gotta bonk my captions? <laughs> That's cold blooded. Bonk captions. Hi, I'm bonk. There you are, Wolverine. Thanks for the chum chum. If only I had a place to put those. Oh well. You know what's funny is the only reason I didn't mark because he showed me three places in order. First place, second place, and third place. The only reason I didn't mark the first place is because the other two locations seem so far away. And in my head, I was like, oh, I better mark those first. Since the first one is so close, I'm not likely to forget where that one is. And guess what happened? So this Dumas. So when can I start for you, Mr. Dumas? Mr. Dumbass? It's Dumas. Want to get away for a while? I think it's this, actually. This place right here. Oops. Bonk. This derelict ship right here. Hi, I'm Bonk. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
There's nothing of use to be found in the ship, but I notice a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button to leave it alone? Come on, buddy. A voice crackles from the machinery in front of me. It sounds like a recording and is barely audible. Stop messing about with those buttons, you absolute idiot. The distinct sound of someone slapping somebody else's hand crackles out of the speakers. Sorry, Ramin. Concentrate. I don't think I have to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost there. All right, let's see if what the old machine has told us is hold up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. Some sort of mechanical adjustments seem to be being made. I hear the sound of three clicks, buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay, when I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, I mean. The sound of a click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh, on Rohana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, the speakers are filled with static, crackling, and a low rumble that seems to gradually increase in pitch and frequency. And then the sounds of someone cheering. It worked! We're flying! What sounds like an ungainly person dancing around on a metal surface plays out. All right, all right, let's, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do we do that, Ramin? Let me check what the machinist wrote down for us. A long pause. The whining static sound that started playing when the ship took off seems to be increasing in frequency. It sounds like the ship is picking up pace. Suddenly, what sounds like someone pulling and pushing on every button they can as quickly as possible plays out. Uh, Ramin? That lever you just ripped out, Toma. That was how we slow the thing down. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try it. The recording cuts off there. If there's anything video game history taught me, it's that any advancement in technology or science fiction in a video game always has a recording of someone's last moments. Which only goes to show me and show me the further we increase our knowledge as a species, the more likely we're going to have recordings of our failures in audible format. Something to look forward to. I got a whole ass cutscene? What is this? Oh! Are you looking for a calibrator? I nod, and Simon looks gleeful. She's always been a mischief maker. Shake, shake, shake. You won't find it here. I've hidden it. You'll never find it. Never, never. Mother. Give it back. I need it. You're a horrible child. That's not nice. I need it. Do you? Oh, well. Maybe you'll find it on your own. But I don't think so. Oh. Simon laughs off my irritation. I compose myself. I'm not going to give her the satisfaction. I'll give you the calibrator. I'll give it to you. But I want some beetles. That's a fair trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. Beetles? I stifle a sigh. Perhaps some of the adults in the camp know where I can find some. I know where to find some beetles. I know exactly where to find some beetles. Adrian's only weakness. Oh, is that Simon still running around? I have an idea. Give me the calibrator! What? <gasps> Yo, juked! by a kid are they running all the way back to camp they are that's actually impressive I say that because most games when they do things like this the person runs off into the draw distance and fades away and then spawns at camp they're actually showing Simon run all the way back that's tight I like that I like that. No one else does. Just me. And if any of you like it, stop it. It's my moment. Can I get up here? I don't need to. There's a ladder right there. Okay. Can I just... Hey. Good. I could ask about catching beetles with Saima, that wretched child. You know where I can find some beetles? There's a nest of beetles just east of here. You can't just walk up to one and catch it, though.
Yeah, I guess not. There's some seeds growing on the rocks around the nest. Are there? Drop a seed on the floor and the beetle will start eating it. Then you can sneak up and grab it. Halal quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Abexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There is a great verse that says much about our folk buried under sand. I don't have time to listen to you talk about that kind of trash. <sighs> Life is a sad way. I feel sad all the time. Hey, the game told me how to place markers. Does it know how to remove markers? Is there a remove all markers button? Because I don't think there is. Oh no. It might be that system where the marker disappears as you approach it. But what happens if you put a marker someplace you can't go? Then the marker's just there. And that's hashtag not cool. Unless. Ha ha! Way to think it through. Good job, team. Hi, I'm team. I got that thug in love. Thug in love. Massy map up close. Uh, I'll show it to you when we get 300 subs. Chicka, 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 Hey, let's show it. Chicka, 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 Makes me sick. Boop. Now it's hearing us. Let's show it. You, you, you can't. S <sighs> okay. Just kidding, Reem. We'll never get that. Look. You may see map up close. Whoa. There you go. I wonder if these are location of slug cats that I've already gotten. It has to be because I've gotten three. So it's showing all three slug cats I've gotten so far. It's very Red Dead Redemption. I like that. Big world. The map is cute. Can maps be cute? Is that a trait that a map can have? You're out there with Magellan and Cortez. Captain, can I see the map? Here you go. Take a look. What do you think? Ooh, it's cute. It's what? It's cute. Map. I'm sure we'll find the colonies in no time. And they'll be cute, too. Pat, 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 pat upon, pat upon. Are they referring to these things? Those are the things I said earlier that I bet you can place the nest eggs inside of, but I bet you can't get to them accurately enough. I'm so sad that I don't just trust my, I'm so, I'm so, I'm so, I've always cooed my last po. Sucker. Oh, God. Just snatched it right up. Where's the next one? It's like a Pokeball. Kind of. This is kind of like in Pokemon Shield and Sword when you play with the Pokemon by tossing the ball out there. You know what I mean? And they grab it and they're all happy and excited. Oh, my God. They're playing with me. Ah. Uh... Except when they play with the, we snatch them up.
Where are the other ones? Pat, pat, pat upon, pat upon, pat upon. Pat, 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 pat. Where are the rest? Hmm. I wonder if I have to use a different fruit every time. Just in case. Interesting. Let me check this way. Car alarm. Magellan used to draw little cats to mark places on his map. That's just history. It's not taught in our school system. Unfortunately. I don't think the Beatles have the facilities for that. Big Twafo. Yo, can I have some more beetles, or... How can I gather beetles if there's no beetles to gather? Ever consider that game? Checkmate. I, I do need more beetles, though. That was, like, a ha-ha moment, but also, I'm, I'm serious. Give me, give me beetles. up here and spy on him. It's funny because I counted three last time. I wonder if it's a time of day thing. It's 5 a.m. now. Do you think the Beatles have a, a cycle? Like an actual wait time that I can't get Beatles until it's later in the day? It's not real Beatle hours, also known as RBH, kind of like real Babar hours. At this point, I'd take either one. Whiskey. If this is a bug, it would be probably a game-breaking one. Because I need that conductor, and I can't get the conductor without getting the beetles. And the beetles I need in order to get the conductor, but the beetles to spawn in order to be caught. Although there was an option when I was speaking to ha Halil about how I could ask about the hiding spot. Maybe then I could just skip past this altogether, but I don't know. This is weird. I'm trying to think of an alternate way that I can do this just in case. Um... Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not fully loaded or drawn into this area. So if I, maybe if I leave the area, then they draw. So I'm looking down there and I don't see any skittering or scattering or anything else. It'd be a shame if they were stuck in the wall or something like that. Let's just make sure. There's no beetles out there, I know that. I'm gonna leave and come back just to make sure it doesn't reload the area. Look at all this love and affection for each other tonight. Oh my god, my friend's here. Oh my god, my friend's here. Oh my god, my friend's plural are here. I don't think I really reloaded the area. Hmm. 
Hmm. That was a bad idea before I even started. <laughs> it's a good way to get yourself out of bounds. It's stuck. Gathered three beetles. Yeah, just making sure. Yeah, I don't see the other beetles. This is rather unfortunate. Hmm. The other beetles are not spawning. That's kind of sucks. Um, I'll delete the area and come back in full. Just to make sure. Dang, possibly. So far, dang. Possibly the evolved form of dang. Which you can do by getting the dang stone. But I'd rather not force it. I don't want to get the dang stone to evolve dang into dam. That's just how I'm built. So I'll speed away. Talk to the elder. Make sure there's no nonsense going on. Which so far it seems it is. Nice. Nice. Let me talk to you first. Her hiding place. Spends a lot of time in the cave under the camp. Should have looked down there. The cave under the camp. I wonder if I could take these eggs and put them in that laboratory over there. There she is, little shit. This is glowing, whatever it is. It was quite active, just not that active yet. You remind me of a volcano that I once knew was active. Hello. Right here, beetle conversation. I bet she hid it in here somewhere. Makes me so upset. Because I feel like I should. Oh, oh! Is that. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Sorry. No beetles for you today. Should have picked a better hiding spot. Should have hid it under your pillow. Because guess what? The repo lady fairy just arrived, and we just repossessed your assets, which coincidentally are my assets that you stole, which makes you the ass set. <laughs> what up, Tiago? Rub it in her face. Rub it in her face. Simon shrieks when she sees the calibrator in my hand and then bursts into tears under the mask. Good. You'll leave. You'll leave on the gliding. You'll never come back. Just like Yara did. Don't you miss her too? You were her friend before she left. I promised to find Yara. But no one's heard from her in years. Simon's voice trembles. You'll find her, won't you? Tell her to write to me. I miss her. 
So you stole the calibrator. That way I wouldn't be able to leave because Yara left. And you was... Oh, that's kind of sad. Don't take my stuff. Ever again. You all ever you all ever outsmart a six year old and celebrate? Hmm? You ever outsmart a small child and take a moment to pat yourself in the back for a job well done? I did. Oh yeah, Caesar. I plan to celebrate if that ever happens. I believe in you. Turn to a life of crime just so you would stay. Aren't there a lot of stories that happen like that? And then they'll rebel against the system, as they should. And the system in turn will rebel against her. If you think about it, I'm kind of saving her life. I've returned to Caesar with the parts, and it's as if she weighs me over. I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? Well done, Sable. Yes, this is everything we need. Are you ready to assemble a bike of your own? I'm ready. Let's head to the workshop. This is my story, Riri. Oh! Oh! I'm bringing sexy back. Yep. This little workshop don't know how to act. Yep. And Cezo thinks that my bike will be whack. Yep. And they just need to sit back and relax. Take him to the shop. Come on, girl. Build a glider. Come on, girl. Be beside her. Come on, girl. Make all the kids cry. Get a calibrator by. Lots of money. Dress her chest funny. Get your money on. Get your building on. Dirty babe. I've got 290 cuts today. I will spend them just about any way. Buy off all the maps and you'll see the way. That I spend money so recklessly. Take him to the bridge. Caesar relaxes in the workshop. It isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one truly appreciates when Caesar was in her element. Hey, Yuan. I wonder if it's this way for all machinists. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you've acquired, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Among my clan, we believe that machines have names, held for ages like deep secrets, unheard by those unequipped to listen. We will find this one's name together. Oh, we're on our Matrix stuff, huh? <laughs> this is my <laughs> long lost Wachowski brother. Okay. Big piece first. Okay. Hey. Ooh. Ooh. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. Sees uh, relaxes in the workshop, but isn't that she particularly rigid or anxious ordinarily? But oh yeah. That was slick. Qu'est-ce que c'est? A 
I thought so, but it didn't prompt. My glider looks like a lightsaber. I found your lightsaber. Uh, Caesar. Um, Keska. I I built this glider. Listen. Cecil tilts her head a moment, leaning closer to Simoon. All at once I knew the hoverbox name. Simoon. I said in a whisper to let Cizo know. Simoon. Well done, Sable. What does it mean? What does it mean? You should ask her yourself. Cecil looks entirely serious. The bike, to my enduring surprise, says nothing, even when I lean closely. I tell Simone that I'm eager to know her better, and Cecil looks quite proudly at the both of us. You are ready, then, for the gliding. May all the gods turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps, but Cecil was prone to such things, and I can read in her tone that was meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to Simone and care for her. Seek out my fellow machinists in your travels, Sable. They will teach you the art of machine whispering. Oh, and here, take this. A machinist badge. It is like Pokemon. You'll meet plenty of my ilk when you're gliding. Show them your worth and they'll give you more badges. I thank Cizo twice for good measure and give him a bow. I'm ready. <gasps> Jay Brecky! Oh man, that was outstanding.